Today, we are exploring near shore Florida and surviving on whatever we catch. He just won't let me grab him, dude. He's just like the cutest little lobster I've ever seen. All right, guys, look, having some engine troubles. We bought fishing poles, we brought my bow, and we set crab traps. That was so cool. Let's see what's for lunch. First stone crab trap with some keepers, it looks like. Beautiful. Awesome. Nice claws on that guy. These crabs are vicious. You do never want to get pinched by them. They have like 19,000 pounds of crushing force between those claws. And they will break your finger bone if they actually get you in the right spot. So those claws are no joke, but renewable resource. Once we rip it off, it'll be fine. But we've got our first delicious claw on board to eat today. Nice job, Dr. Leah. You better catch me some dinner because I'm not, I'm not too excited. I better get some food. You, I got you three <laughs> bites of food so far. Nice. Four. I can't survive. I need more than Four. that to survive. <laughs> the trick today is to get enough food that I survive and don't eat anyone's head off because I'm so hungry. All right, and another crab in there. Check Ooh. that out. And just goes to show you that somebody broke that claw off recently and that was a clean cut. The crab healed over. And by next season, they'll have another regrow. So she's got one claw on her and she's totally fine. So this goes to show you that these crabs totally live and we release them in whole condition, minus the claw. Here we go. Ooh, baby, I will take that all day. Quality crabs in there. Look at that. Oh, monster. Gorgeous crab right there. That's a nice size for our waters. That's actually his crushing claw. So it's just interesting that this claw, the, the, the Tearing claw is missing, but you can see a little nub growing back. Look at that. These stone crab traps are pretty simple setups that work to catch stone crabs. And basically, it's a whole plastic trap, very heavy duty plastic. And there's an entrance right here at the top. That's the, the mouth where the crabs crawl into. When you open up the trap, you can see we have a concrete floor. This is all old bones from the past. But I have a big cup tied up right here in the corner with some pig's feet that you can see are still rotten and have been sitting in there for days. And when you close the trap, it's right here in the front, so there's no entrance. But basically that's gonna attract the crabs to crawl into the trap because they smell it, but they can't get to the cup. And then we have a wood chew out right here that'll eventually rot, rot out over time. If you ever lose this trap and it becomes a ghost trap, the crabs will eventually be able to escape. Just found a trap that we literally lost like a month ago, but we found it. But I wanna show you this cute little guy in there. He's actually clapping his teeth right there. He's very mad. Look at those wild looking teeth. That is a trigger fish. And the cool thing about a trigger fish, if you didn't know, they're called a trigger fish because of this thing. So they'll lock themselves and anchor themselves in a hole away from predators, but you can't push this down for the life of you, no matter what you do. But if you push this, which is the trigger, it goes right down. But if you push here, you cannot push it down, which is pretty wild. Trigger fish. He has it half open. All right, let's let him go. Cute little guy. They're so beautiful. All fish are beautiful. He took me back to the boat. He wants to stay with us. Final trap of the day, number 10. This is the first time we've actually had all of our traps checked, which is pretty amazing. So let's pull it open. It's just so cool opening these traps because you never know what you're going to find. Here we go. Oh, baby. Oh, my Lord. Look at that monster. Look, he killed a catfish. There's two. And look at my bait cup holding strong. Nice job, Dark Sizzle. That is a beautiful crab. Grab He's the like crab with all, your hands. He is like all red and gorgeous. Bare hands. Bare hands? Yeah, bare hands. Oh, Lord. All right. <laughs> I can't believe she things, falls for this stuff, things guys. Things pudding makes me do. You got to grab the biggest crab with the bare hands. Just grab him. He's no big deal. Bare handed. Just grab He's him. He's no big deal. Just grab him. Yeah. They go fast. You better shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're freaking me out for no reason. I pick up crabs all the time. You're a oh, lunatic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous crab. He's spewing water. Gorgeous. That looks like his original claws, too. Gorgeous is massive. Male. So sick. All right, so at least for lunch, we've got delicious stone crab claws. The most expensive <laughs> seafood you could ever buy. Yes. I mean, that claw right there is worth a lot of money in stores. A pound of uh, jumbo claws like that is worth, I think, what is it, 60, 60 it's Like pounds. $85 a pound. Like $85 a pound. That's like almost a pound. Uh, yeah, that is no joke. Sick, killing it. The other one's got a keeper too. Nice claw. I really pay attention to just like 
how just a crab and how much they actually use their crusher claw and you can tell by that bottom joint how worn down it is that knuckle and you can see that that guy actually uses his claw which is pretty cool but i look at left handers and right handers that big guy was a left hander we got a right hander right here fold the claw in you're not taking wrap it up to his body so he can't pinch you and then take the claw you're going to take and it's basically one forward down one motion usually it'll snap perfectly in the right spot nice nice this might be the coolest sea creature find i have ever seen in one of my traps other than an octopus a couple years ago he's, he's sticking to the net i'm trying grab him that's not gross Hold on. he just won't let me grab him dude there he goes but this is a Florida spiny lobster. What I grew up catching with my father, and he passed away, rest in peace, but he's the cutest, coolest little creature. He's so cool, and with the, all those colorations when they're juveniles like this, he's just like the cutest little lobster I've ever seen. Ooh, and he's flipping, look at him flip. Flipping on my hand right there. Ooh, <laughs> doing backwards flips, swimming in the water. But he's long tentacles, and he's just super, super cool. So neat to see little sea creatures like that. So let's go ahead and release them. So cool to find them inshore. Hopefully he'll make his way offshore one day and get big. All right, little buddy. Oh, he just took off. <laughs> that was super cool. And the traps, a lot of the times, little sea creatures fall off, like this little guy right here. Got a little crab. Oh, come here, buddy, we're gonna let you go. So I try to release all these little crabs because I don't want them to all die. And so always take care of the sea creatures, no matter how small they are. Really cool. Yeah, I can care of them, one day they're gonna grow enough, grow up enough, big enough for putting to eat. Yes. <laughs> that was the cutest lobster. Yes. So cute. Nice job. Love it. I love it when he's bigger. All right, so let's go find some bigger fish for me to eat. I'm, I'm not, ready. I'm not surviving yet. We are not surviving. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> if we this was Survivor, it would be. I just want good fishing juju, good karma. Do right by the fish gods and the turtles. Turtles will eat this offshore and they will die. That's right, Dr. Sizzle, because turtle's favorite food is... Uh, the jellyfish. That's right, Dr. Sizzle. Turtle's favorite food is jellyfish. So those, those bags, the Mylar balloons that you get for your birthday and it reveals, yeah. don't do it, stop. You know, this is plastic that'll take hundreds of years to break down. It'll break into tiny pieces and legit look like jellyfish and they will die. And they're a big part of the ecosystem. We are back at the boat ramp getting some parts for our engine and when I walked over to the truck I saw a barracuda hanging out over here. It's going to be a hard shot because he has a very small body. Oh, it's right, right there. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> yes. It was a good try. Alright guys, look, having some engine troubles. It won't go over 2500 RPM. I think it's fuel. I changed the, uh, maybe you guys can give us that little hand in the comments. I changed the filter, you see it's a little rusty, and some rust came out when I emptied that. And I have a brand new gas tank and a new gas line coming right up to the to my fuel system here, but um, I can't obviously can't take it apart out here. I'll just drop bolts in the water. But I think probably the rust hit that screen and, and uh, anyway, won't get enough gas. So uh, we gotta change our tactics a little bit. We're gonna do some inshore trolling and, uh, and see what we can make out of it. You gotta turn this lemon into lemonade. <laughs> Get him, so get him. Still on? Yeah. All right. We got a little snook on the line. All right, here we go. First fish. Not bad. On my favorite lip divers. One of my favorite colors right here. Just popped right out. Stop it, buddy. Stop it, buddy. Like a little 18, 19 incher right there. Nice fish to see. It is snook season, but this guy's way too small to keep. So we're just gonna go ahead and let him go. All right, that was a nice welcomed addition. He is ready. Bye, buddy. That's so cool when they swim away so slow like that. Love it. Sure, you gotta pay attention, Sizzle. I know. Well, that thing jumped way back there. Oh, baby, that's what we want. Baby, pull out a little bit. Pull out a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Got him away. <laughs> All right. Hi, right, buddy. Whoa, getting a little bigger. 
pop this right off. These, these lures are going to be in my Amazon store if you're interested. All, most of my fishing gear is there, so if you're ever interested in the stuff that I use, check it out. All right, guys, another beauty snook right there. Slightly bigger, maybe an inch bigger, but let's get him right back in let him go home. Oh, very angry at me. All right, that's a great sign. Let's keep it up. Yeah, another snook. Oh, my Lord. Snook bite is on, y'all. Non-stop snook so far. I mean, nothing too crazy big, but a snook is a snook in my book. I can't complain. It's gotta be a big boy around somewhere. Woo! Oh, really nice to see, of course, when you see smaller fish like this and they're healthy. Just goes to show you that the fishery is doing well and with slot limits, you know, it saves the lives of the bigger females. George was holding the rod that time. Sick! What we got, what we got. The jet. I think you're right, Mr. Jack. Looks like I might have to eat a Jack to survive. He got all hooked all weird. Yeah. Fish food! We're eating a Jack. Put him in a cooler. I blame the engine. We could have gotten someplace where I could eat a better fish. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down. Nice snook, nice snook. Nice snook. Oh, he's barely hooked. Hold it, Perfect. Up. Hold Let it him up. out. Hold Let him up. out. Yep. Perfect, babe. Good job. Hey, hey! We found a bigger one. Yeah, buddy. On the beautiful X wrap in the hothead color. We always have this lip diver out deeper because it gets right to the bottom. And this one was just scraping the bottom. Now that's starting to look like a real snook. Yeah. Gorgeous. 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 It's gonna probably be 26 inches long, but let's get a quick measure. You never know. On the hair club cooler. Yes. These fish are chewing today. You're that was right. pretty damn close. 25 and a half. Nice. Needs to be 28 to keep. Gorgeous fish. Let's let him go. Woo! Okay, I'm letting you go. Already chewing on my thumb. Usually when they do that, that means they're ready to go. But give them a minute if they're not ready. Oh, he's ready. Swim away slow. Oh, sick. Oh, sick. Coolest release ever. That was so cool. All right. Try to set up our barbecue. This front just came and it's blowing like crazy. Yes. There's a big old coal right here. You should dig out whatever's in there. Found this little spot, but the wind just like picked up like crazy. We took, yeah, front is coming. It's already a little chillier for me. <laughs> <laughs> Blown straight out of the north. Anytime it's a north wind, it's not fun for me at all. But well, let's find another spot out of the wind. I'm a big Florida baby. Let's so get another spot out of the wind. Let's get out of here. But we're all gonna sit up. Jesus, windy. How'd you just catch that? <laughs> <laughs> she caught a set. Was that a senate? Yeah. No, it's a little. This is the world's babyest barracuda. Another she small that a species. No, it's the baby barracuda. No. Look how cute. 100% barracuda. Oh, it is a barracuda. Yeah. Tiny. I saw some bait getting blown up over there when we were getting set up for uh, cooking. And how, to, how to throw a line. That's me, guys. <laughs> Brian gets mad at me constantly for doing that. Not mad, you're too pretty. All right, we gotta get out of the wind. This is crazy. Another species. I wonder. All right, I just gotta push it. Just the waves push it up on the sandbar. You want bar. me in the corner? Hold on. Yeah, go in the back corner. It's not gonna help much, but. Wow, check this out, guys. We're headed to our new location and just coming across a really old sailboat that's been in the water forever, completely washed ashore. I was actually gonna film it too for my Instagram story. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. But pretty wild that it's up here on the shoreline. Crazy. Look at all the barnacles on it. We gotta cook before this rain comes or else I do a little exploring and hop aboard. Found a nice little spot out of the wind over here by Beer Can Island. And you got a new doohickey, right? Yeah, I got a nice little grill because the other one didn't boil water, remember our last video? Yes. So we're going to boil up some crabs and some shrimp. And I guess I got to eat a jack because I'm eating lunch, whatever we caught. Exactly. <laughs> All right, what we caught is this uh, jack craval. Honestly, we've had them before. And you're going to see right now how good they are. But this is a perfect eating size fish. He's little, but no complaints. Little guy. And I got my filet away fish mat right here, which is actually a pretty awesome little doohickey to uh, fillet on the boat and with slimy fish, it stays right on the mat. Pretty sweet. So thank you, little Jack, for feeding us today. Brian's getting hangry. 
Between the boat and my hunger, I'm hangry. Yes. You want to try some of that Jack Sushi sizzle? If you insist. <laughs> Do you have soy sauce? No. I think it tastes better. All right, you want sushi? This is as fresh as it gets. I'll try it. Okay. You try it, then you tell me. It's not the best thing I ever ate. I'm gonna advise against it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let's be honest, everybody. We gotta be honest on the show. Not everything tastes delicious, okay? No. Oh, I forgot the most important part. A little land shark. Gotta wash, gotta wash down the Jack Creval with some beer. Here's your own beer sizzle. Thank you. Woo. Living our dreams. All right, it's boiling. Secret ingredient is vinegar, of course, white vinegar. Put those claws in, Sizzle. Glad you get hungry. Big ones first. We're cooking for like, what, seven minutes, six yeah. minutes? Yeah, we're breaking it up. Uh, we're not gonna cook all the claws at once just because we never eat. This is our first time using the burner. Wanna make sure that it heats up. Yeah. Two. And you said you added the vinegar? I added the vinegar, the white vinegar. White distilled vinegar. Distilled. See you in five minutes. Heat. All right, guys, been all done. Oops. <laughs> we had a timer you can hear. Stop. We forgot our, we have our tongs. We're just going to improvise with this diamond sharpener. Dump them right in there. We usually put ice in here. I'm not sure if we're going to do that or not, but what do you think? I'll throw some ice in there real quick. We got plenty in our hair club cooler. Beautiful. Now we move on to the. Now we're gonna move on to the Jack cooking portion. Pour a little butter, a little butter, salt and pepper. Make anything taste good. Yeah, just gonna throw it on there. I got some salt and pepper packets. <laughs> it's gonna be the best Jack Creval you've ever had. Ever. I can already hear it sizzling. Yeah. Sizzling on you the. You have to add bar. more butter. I got our sizzle sizzling on the sand. It's burning bar. up. No, it's not. Perfect. Don't, this is cooking with Punya's department. Sorry. You stick to fishing. You were slacking over you there. You stick to fishing. Time it? No, we don't time it. All right, just flipping these. All right, just cut that. It looks like it's done. Take it off the heat and put it on a plate, Sizzle. Nice. Beautiful. Can we clean it in the ocean. Yeah, I gotta say, it doesn't need any fresher than that. Like that is the freshest fish ever, and crab claws. And this is the cleanest pan. <laughs> All right, check out what Cook with Pudding cooked up for us, some delicious crab claws, and we got the Jack Caval. And you can see my stone crab necklace available on my website, by the way, made from these crabs that we harvest. All right. Let's try the Jack Corral first. Here we go. It's not bad. Dude. Fishy butt. It's fine. Maybe a little bit, but it tastes like every other fish in the sea. It's so fresh that it's delicious. Yeah. All right, let's get to the really good stuff. Oh, I'm the really, best. I think I'm surviving pretty well now tonight. Most expensive seafood out there. Living the dream, baby. Mmm. Mmm, nice and fresh. Delicious, salty a little bit. We are just so blessed, and we can't thank each one of you guys enough for watching our awesome videos. And awesome. thank you guys so much for joining us. Until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and keep on catching. catching. I'm filling my mouth up. <laughs> Take a look at this next video. <laughs>